Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mantalk.ke. Thank you for coming back every single week. We really appreciate it. Every one of you that like the post, share the post, send it to your mom, your auntie, your dog. Thank you. It really means the world. Um, we're back at Kofisi for another really, really exciting episode. Thank you, Kofisi, for being our location sponsor. We're at Keystone Park on Riverside Drive, second floor on block A. Basically, we're in the knowledge room where you can host meetings just outside. There's a coffee bar, there's little meeting pods. If you're an individual and you want to come and work somewhere where you can network and have just a nice aesthetic and a nice place, this is the spot for you. If you're a company and you want like a small office, there's multiple offices on this floor and others. So the link is down below in the description for this Kofisi and all the others around Nairobi. There's plenty of them and there's a new one down the road too. So strap in. Hope you're excited for this episode. Oscar, do your thing, Oscar Comet. Do your thing. Ladies and gentlemen. Come on. I'm particularly excited to Come bring on. to you David Rashia. <laughs> Joseph Maore. Pleasure. Of Regalia Apparel. Well, you know, starting the year we we said that we we're going to do more to being more than just a podcast, more than just a sound, mm. more than just a voice. Mm. Um and these two gentlemen um, have been impressive in how they've carried themselves and how they've carried out their work in bringing this this fantastic hoodie to life. <laughs> I'm a huge fan um, of you guys. I'm very excited to have you here. Thank you. Um, as you can tell, Eli's biceps are finally can I, can worked I, against can I, can him. I be honest? <laughs> There's some sort of discrimination going on here. I'm not a fan. Uh, uh, I'm feeling very cold. Okay. <laughs> huh? okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. We're not, not going to do it. We're not going to use slurs. That's what we're going to do. Um, so we're very, very excited to have you guys. So please introduce yourselves. Introduce what you do. And tell the world about um, the fantastic product that you have for us today. Okay, thank you so much, first of all, for inviting us into the Man Talk podcast. Uh, it's a pleasure. So my name is Joseph Kino, but my friends call me Mori. Mm. Um, I'm actually, I completed like uni like last year and I graduated this year. So I studied like bachelor's in communication, mm -hmm. but I found myself venturing into fashion because I do have... um. I do have a taste for fashion, so I wanted to Preach. do fashion. So Sheesh. that's why I I jumped into fashion or entered into the fashion industry. So and I'm pleased to be here today. Come on, yeah. uh, communication. Like you can tell you yeah, communication. Yeah, this boy is can communicate. Like, communicate. communicate. I got communicate. taste. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. Um, David Gashier. Uh, you can you can call me Gashier. I'm a fashion entrepreneur, uh, and a co-founder Regalia Apparel. We work with Moje. I also completed my university sometime last year on December and uh, graduated uh, last month on the 18th. And this is what we do. Uh, thank you very much for having us. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, let's have fun. It's the, it's yeah. the kind of sons you want. So respectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the clean, clean, clean business. Clean. I like it. Clean. And then, like as it. you can tell, they have taste. Yeah, oh, sure. you heard. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I'm very curious to know, like, your origin story, both of you. So, I think we'll start individually as to, like, how you grew up, where you grew up, just briefly, and then jump into how you met. Um, so, either of you can go first, just a bit about your upbringing, so we can get context as to who you are now. Oh, uh... For me, I've uh, grown up in a small town called Gashie. Gashie okay. is just in the outskirts of Nairobi. If you all hear Nyari, Nyari kwa mababi, but mm -hmm. yeah, I'm from that area. It's 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 quite an experience coming from such an area. There is so much we see, and there is so much that helps us that that motivates us to be what we've been till today. Yeah, so that 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 that's me. That's where I've come from, and I'm I'm very happy. I'm I'm very happy for the community and society to whatever they have built built me to. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Hey, woof. jeez. Yeah. Says, did you practice? What's going on? Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> I did to go after him. Just. <laughs> 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 so okay. Um. So for me, yeah. Uh, I've grown up in Nairobi. So many years in Nairobi, to be precise. <laughs> yeah. So, but um, majorly I've grown up in Kasarani. So that's where. Uh, much, uh, <laughs> uh, from childhood uh -huh. until uh, even I stay, I do stay there actually. So um, we first met with Kashie when we entered in uh, university. We met in 2018 mm -hmm. at Saint Paul's University, mm -hmm. and 
Mm, we became friends, but before we became friends, we we were oh, uh, hi hi. Mm. But later on, we uh, we were like um like you know freshers. Oh, when you go to uni and you are just like a squad. So we like for us, we had probably something in mind. We had the same mindset with Gashia. So the squad went uh cutting off people, cutting off people until right okay. now. Mm-hmm. And that's when we sat down and created something and how did how did how did that what was your creative process? Tell me which side of the bed did the both of you wake up on um to decide to like get into fashion? And what was the motivating reason behind getting into fashion? Because you both do so different things. Oh, all right. So we felt like we have so much so much of time. In campus you have so much of time, by the way. You have so much of free time. Uh, we felt that we, we have to do something creative apart from but uh, having some nice time reading. Yeah. So we felt that we have to do something creative. We have to start building our future. Mm. Yeah, we have to, cause we, we had dreams and it had reached a point of feeling we have to actualize our dreams. You are now in third year, we're almost getting done with school uh, outside here. Like we know around like getting, a, getting jobs and uh, having your life together is not as easy around here. So you have to plan yourself. You have, you have to like plan yourself well. Mm. So from that, I think that motivated us and uh, we came up with a regalia. We, we didn't have an idea, but we, we, we both loved fa- fashion. Mm-hmm. What do you love about fashion? Uh, just looking cool and uh, just creative. feeling comfortable. Mm. Mm, the yeah. creative part. The creative, creative part. part yeah, yeah. Mm. for sure. So one of the things we notice when we talk about <clears throat> like youth in Kenya, we talk about guys at uni, is that free time. Um, we were speaking to somebody a, f- a few days ago. That free time, a lot of the time, is spent drinking, yeah, sure. girls, going out making bad decisions and making great stories but you decided to use that time (laughs) very good stories you decided to use that time to create a business with somebody that's in uni and in your squad so what differentiated you two from the other people in your squad because for people to drop off there's a reason so So, and there's a reason you guys stuck together so what would you say that common theme is that made you guys think Mm. i'm going to step away from Mm. what everyone else is doing and we're going to focus on bettering ourselves with that free time Okay, I think it's um, the way we have been brought up. Mm-hmm. So that's that's the main factor that made us click because actually it didn't take time for us to click because uh, we had the same mindset as I, as I said earlier. So actually we, we, we lived together. Okay. So they, they're living together um, because we were staying in hostel and later on we uh, decided like, oh, we moved out. Yeah. We we moved out, so we were staying mm-hmm. together. So, and we were like, we had a lot of time, a lot of time. Mm-hmm. Uh, we made bad decisions, but mm-hmm. we were like, oh, these bad decisions have to. Mm-hmm. We have to tree uh, cut them. You have to grow up. Yeah, we yeah. have to grow up. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. the that's the right word. So, and I I I wanted actually to to start a clothing brand, and he actually wanted to start a clothing brand. Ah, interesting. Mm. Yeah. So let's go to the yeah. name. Cause, yeah, that's yeah. Because this, this name means something, and I like it. Yeah, I like it this hoodie. Yeah, does. it does mean the same. I does, <laughs> does mean, mean something, something actually. for sure. Yeah, yeah let's go, boys. Mm. What does it mean? Uh, regalia means a special type of clothing. We believe that every time we curate our apparels, they'll never be the same. We both have brown hoodies, but they aren't the same. So you'll have your special type of clothing. For Tenda, it's not. It's there is. There is no similarity. Each product is curated in its own way. If you look at the patterns, they can't be the same. Mm. So it's always special. You have your your own type, special type of clothing. Mm. It's Ooh. special. Mm. Goodness. Mm. Yeah. yeah, actually, the meaning the meaning is it's the so actual special. meaning. Yeah. Okay. Where does it come? What what language? Where does it come from? It's English. It's English. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Regalia. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, sounds, sounds, <laughs> <laughs> give me a five. Hey, so, this boy. Regalia. Who knew? Who knew? It sounds like, it sounds like Italian. <laughs> Regalia. It sounds, <laughs> it sounds, it sounds Italian. It's yeah. going to say it's a special type. kind of clothing. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. So, yeah, you're right. Ty and I actually know who it is the same. Yeah, no and that's very same. creative. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, one of the questions that I have been asking you, as usual, off camera during our discussions, because I, I really do love the product, is... <laughs> how how do you make a hoodie what's the process of like creating something like this and yeah i think let's start there and like what did you learn in creating this process because i feel like there's some there's a bit of a journey there before 
no, before, how did you get the first hoodie? What did that look like? Yeah. <laughs> and then the second hoodie, and then this hoodie that I love so much. So actually, first of all, we started with t-shirts. Mm-hmm. So um, we started this brand on the 28th of May and uh, 2021. So uh, we were both of us in the living room and we were like, so between probably May, June, we have to like, July actually, uh, the first week of July, we have to have funds mm-hmm. so that we can start it, go buy t-shirts and all the products that are needed to do it. So we actually went, bought the t-shirts uh, after like July, we went, bought the t-shirt, the, prod, uh, the uh, chemicals that mm. we used to tie and dye. So we were like, we are creating something big because not uh, not, not a lot of people uh, do, do tie and dye. So we were like, wow, we are creating something big. In our mindset, it was like, we will sell each and everything mm. we'll make. But Kenyan Nike. <laughs> Kenyan Nike? <laughs> yeah, the Kenyan Nike, the Kenyan Adidas, like, but we were like, shock on us. What mm, happened? Mm. We never sold. We never <laughs> sold any item out of the, our ne- first collection of our 10 first t-shirts. Collection. Mm. We never mm. sold any. Mm. Mm. What were the mistakes? What did you learn? So uh, actually it's one of the things is the strategy. With, we were like so confident that this is like, this nobody was done this. <laughs> so we were so confident in ourselves and we were like, we will sell each and everything. So f- uh, we had to, so we created a page, took pictures, but the first pictures we took, we were like, wow. These pictures are mbwakni. <laughs> <laughs> they're terrible. <laughs> wow, they're terrible. As in, so um, we yeah. took the pictures, posted them, and you we were like, we will sell each and everything, but shock mm. on us, we never sold. So um, we did a lot of mistakes. We actually like went for two weeks without talking about the brand, even a month probably. Mm-hmm. We never talked about it. Never, not at all. It was painful. It was, it was painful. painful. I think there's something you forgot before all that. It took us quite a while to raise the amount. It was such a small amount, but you all know in uni, mm. uh, you, you, it's, life is quite hard, you know. Eh? Your food, you have to have like kidogo fun and mm. yeah, all that. Uh, so we took a while before we got, we got like our finances together to do our first 10 t-shirts. And uh, when we did it, it was even a, a bigger shock. It was a heartbreak, but we still never gave up. Mm. Yeah, we, we, we sat down, we re-strategized and yeah, we figured out things. So for us to come to hoodies, we actually started somewhere in the t-shirts. Then we were like, okay. What we, t-shirts moving? Uh, they, they, they okay, moving. it's this, we, we took another, uh, we, we strategized and took another, uh, another way of doing this. So mm-hmm. we started, um, we opted on doing like IG, IG ads or any, uh, the IG ads and okay. we saw it was not really working for us. So we, we opted to go for influencers. Yeah, PR packages. PR packages and for things influencers. started working out for us. So it was pain. It, it was denting us because, you know. So as students, you were paying influencer rate cards. No, we were. Uh, we weren't. We, we were sending yeah. emails. We were confident enough to send as many influencers, like mm. 20 of them. And whoever gets back, we give them our product. Actually, a lot of people have won. Yeah, regalia. In, regalia. Did you see a positive effect from that? From yeah, there was a positive, positive effect. effect. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's positive. where that's when regalia started being regalia, for mm-hmm. sure. That's when our product started moving. Mm-hmm. And that's where the story began, because that motivated us to grow bigger to where we are today. Now, mm-hmm. after t-shirts, after that, we started, oh, we can do hoodies. Then mm-hmm. we, we went and st- did some few samples, and we were like, okay, it's working. And we say, uh, we sat down and said we, we will do mass production uh, mass production come on come major on. distribution yeah having yeah. read one of your emails i can tell you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah having read one of your emails uh, which, yeah. i can tell you you, you can get very convincing <laughs> <laughs> For sure. uh, yeah. Yeah, funny story so my first business that failed one of many was in apparel i did the same thing as you when i was young i got some money together with a partner mm-hmm. we started the company but what failed for us is work ethic. We were on different pages when it came to work ethic. And I found that for me, a lot of the things end up being on my end. And then he'll come in, in the last mile and be like, oh yeah, I've done like 10% of the work, but we're still supposed to split profit. We're still, still supposed to say it's our brand collectively. Whether it was putting money in, whether it was effort, whether it was reaching out to people, mm-hmm. I found it was all falling on me because our work ethic wasn't aligning. How have you found each other's strengths and doubled down on that so that the work balance works? 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can say first of all, whatever has kept us as friends for the for this period of time since 2017 mm-hmm. is like meeting somewhere in the middle, like mm-hmm. having that discussion. How can we solve? Like we are we are problem solvers. We don't like run away from problems. Mm-hmm. That has kept us going. And mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I think from that from that position, mm-hmm. we can be able to solve all that about the the money about mm. any other problem because mm. for sure when you're starting out something there are so much problems mm. the heartbreak is big but mm. Mm. we we always talk out we always, we always meet meet at the center for sure we don't we don't agree on everything but we can always meet at the center mm. yeah how about practically like practically when it comes to conflict resolution with you guys let's say you think the tie and dye green is not really working for the aesthetic of the brand right mm-hmm. and you think no green is the probably the best one that we've got at the moment and both of you own equal equity in the company both sure. of you have the same love for the product mm-hmm. who concedes how do you get to that compromise practically okay for such an example yeah. we have to do it like we have to do it like in an actual way we have to mm-hmm. like create mm-hmm. the hoodies like in mm-hmm. green and whatever he says mm-hmm. then we see the outcome mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. at times you have to create items and put them out for the customers because mm-hmm. we are very sure the feedback will be able to like give us mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. if it's really working out mm-hmm. yeah customer feedback is actually important yeah to customer us. feedback mm-hmm. at times we'll just try things and put them out there mm-hmm. and, you're yeah. like, and you the feedback vote. and mm-hmm. the feedback will help us like mm-hmm. figure so out what, and what about what mm-hmm. about like cost on does does making each hoodie cost the same or are there slight variances like buying this particular type of mm. dye to make this particular uh, type of color they, actually there's some difference because the dyes actually uh, they mm-hmm. they don't they vary in in prices so they mm. creating this one is much more expensive creating this one is less expensive so yeah. Yeah, mm. depending on quality mm. quantity yeah. as well yeah. Yeah. back to this green hoodie there's a point i really want to get to right mm-hmm. so let's say the vote you said you put it to the public you remove mm-hmm. yourself from the situation mm-hmm. Now let's say the vote goes we hate this hoodie it's the what like what no one's voted and it was your idea right how do you now have a conversation and be like look we've seen this works and remove that kind of like i told you so type thing because that comes up as two humans so how do you kind of say to the person look we tried it let's move on how does that conversation look how do you give each other feedback yeah i think now from the outcome get out there there is something we call facts You can't uh, mm. you can't run away from mm. a fact. Mm. Yeah, uh, sure. If it's not if it's mm. not good it's not good and mm. you can see you've put it out there to people and mm. it's not good for mm. sure it's mm. not good. So, so mm. you have to yeah you have to rethink it. Mm. For so, sure. So you're a data driven business. Yeah, mm. data, yeah. Mm. data for sure feedback business. customer feedback is big big on us. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay so let's talk about your customer. What does your customer look like? Define your customer. in terms of demographics yeah, yeah. demographics yeah. talk oh okay. tell me who's your customer who's buying from regalia oh, okay. okay so for go. me i can i can say everybody's buying from the, uh, from regalia mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. even my 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 dad <laughs> yeah. even my dad himself mm-hmm. likes is like wow this thing is so good mm. actually we have a, a lot of uh even uh not i will not call them the elderly but i will probably give them like 50 60 they buy mm. they also buy our product but like our demographic is like even small children buy mm. tie and dye from us so <laughs> it's hard for us to categorize the demographic because everybody everybody wants to have yeah. a piece of the yeah. cake or ha- wants to to yeah. feel everything. I think that's now the next step because yeah. you see that question when I've asked it the reason I've asked it is because um uh the, the fact that you're making decisions based off based off the data you collect means that you, you should now do it long enough to hi- kind of have a vision as to how your ideal customer would look like yeah, and to right. also see who's buying what and who's responding to what yeah. and that will also define collection by collection for example Mantok I can tell you off the top of my head who's listening to what where and at what time mm-hmm. and and who's and which platforms mean what for example for I think for instagram we're doing 65 35% mm-hmm. male female 18 to 24 is you know that's like i think it's 17% 25 to 35 is like 45% you see what i mean so you see those percentages it's very important like you collect that information and then you push um you push not just content but also like materials yeah, sure. and like you make designs based off of that knowledge and that understanding yeah. but you see those are now the things 
mm. that I think it's it's like a business phase thing because yeah. you see you're growing so you're it's growing natural so something sure. yeah. on the topic of on topic of business um you've mentioned the the degrees that you guys did mm. how have you sort of invested in like understanding the apparel business that you're getting into because earlier I saw a massive file with measurements different fabrics how did you sort of teach yourself was it on the job did you sort of take some time to like go go into yeah. like your competitors etc how did that the business knowledge come about um we can base that on uh, for me business is passion first mm. of all and i believe he's also business minded mm. and uh, topping up on that uh, the the experience will teach you more business <laughs> more than the business yeah. you know <laughs> more than the business you know in your head yeah yeah, yeah. the experience teaches you more business because you get you get into this thing thinking it's this way Mm-hmm. but with time you learn it's it's not this way it's this way so it's more of the experience okay. you get to 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 like get your business skills better mm-hmm. yeah okay mm-hmm. anything to add so probably like i can say probably passion as well you have to uh, because personally I, i i have passion for for fashion and mm-hmm. him as well so that that also contributes to that yeah yeah okay other question what was your worst day Worst day in the office. We have had plenty of them, mm-hmm. and um, we have to uh, we have to deal them uh, because that's 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 a life of an entrepreneur. Mm-hmm. You have to deal with situations how they come. So probably like you know the fundies, <laughs> we call them fundies. You know <laughs> how they they can do you bad, yeah. and you expect something on this particular time, and they don't deliver. So that is one of the challenges we have been facing, yeah. and. Um, we've been uh once because we are growing, we are growing and knowing. Oh, this this we can do this this way. We can work with this particular person because the <coughs> um our designers, our founders have to meet our deadlines. So, yeah. one of the challenges not meeting our deadlines, as in yeah, that is one of someone the, in your supply chain is messing up, yeah, and then it's affecting deliveries yeah. and affecting customer True. service as well. Yeah. True. So um David like um I just wanted to know how did you become so like knowledgeable about the product like how do you know the difference in terms of product mm-hmm. Okay as you as you've heard we are not designers we are fashion entrepreneurs mm-hmm. uh, with that you have like to we rely on the experience so the experience we've gotten over time that 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 builds on how we understand the product our, understa- our understanding on the product we get like more knowledge on the product as we continue working on this business mm. as we work on this business we get more experience mm. yeah mm. there's a there's a theme and like a fire in your belly when you talk about it as soon as i say the word regalia you like you start smiling like that yeah, <laughs> um and then you mentioned about like your upbringing and that <clears throat> your community kind of gave you the motivation being from gashira etc so outside of your upbringing or maybe if that's what it is primarily what is that fire where does it come from that motivation to be the brand that your dad wears your mom wears and everything where's what's the main motivation for you to keep going and also i'm noticing that you're sort of staying away from vices None of your stories have got like you know nonsense attached to them. So there's clearly something that's pushing you to stay away from that and focus on this. So what what is that for both of you? Okay, I can say he talked about how we've been brought up. Mm. That has played a big role to who we are mm. and uh, imagining the society you're from and just mm. staying away from trouble. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's it takes a lot. Our parents have have. Have have done some nice job. I can say that. Actually, yeah, they have like protected us from <clears throat> all that, and uh, yeah, it takes a lot of work, and we appreciate <clears throat> that. What exactly? What exactly is that? 
like specifically the things that keep me away from so actually like for me let me cut him short so i was a troublemaker before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i've been in so much trouble myself so mm-hmm. uh, i think it's experience is the best teacher i can right. say that because mm-hmm. for me i've been in, in lots of trouble and and also growing up mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. growing up with your each and every time you in trouble each and every time you in trouble mm-hmm. so i was the experience from that has taught me and also where I'm, um the upbringing mm. where where i come from mm. the like this my my kind of family mm. you know not everybody is equal we have we are so different mm-hmm. so that <clears throat> that's what pushes me and personally pushes me to to do what i'm doing because mm. also like customer feedback mm. Um, customer feedback also pushes us because if I see you like this particular thing, it motivates me to do again and again and again mm. because you like this particular product. Mm. So customers themselves make us, they push us. Yeah, so your community. Yeah, yeah so yeah. Uh, on top of that is life with a purpose. I've always believed in that. Mm-hmm. You have to live a life with a purpose. Mm. And uh, like having like that, like organizing your life out here, being a kenyan youth is not as easy you have to like be mm. you have to focus for real you have to focus as early as possible mm. you have to focus so i think yeah with that thought of wanting to organize your life and wanting to have a purpose that motivates us a lot one of the difficulties you think you have um as a kenyan youth right now trying to make it in business hey in business we can talk or first even of in all, life in life you can talk about <clears throat> jobs yeah, true. Mm. we got done with school since la- last december he got himself a job it didn't work out for me i've not worked by the way since i completed school mm-hmm. yeah i've been hustling my little money which i get i put it into the business mm-hmm. yeah that that's been the the, the cycle mm. yeah. actually also there's a story of what motivates us a lot because some time back me and him we, we enrolled we were still in uni Mm-hmm. we enrolled in a in in promotion this type uh there was a uh, there was a, uh, it's not good to mention the company mm-hmm. but um, there was a promotion running like it's it's a certain company which was like almost like global it mm-hmm. it it's um with um it was coming into the market let's say that it was from abroad coming into the market in kenya so it wanted to work like global so we enrolled like we wanted to we we were going mm-hmm. uh marketing it Mm-hmm. so it was a struggle mm-hmm. we were still in uni so we had to go for evening classes mm-hmm. we were walking walking mm-hmm. walking and mm-hmm. walking so mm-hmm. we were we'll like start our journey from thicker road and we'll in the evening we'll be coming out through jogo road the other side of town so that's like what it's, wow. it's like uh, a 20 so, it's like a 20 25 kilometer mm, distance yeah, yeah. for sure We're going to talk to people hotels and, and you have a class in the evening and, still, have and you have to attend Hey, this guy's a hustler. <laughs> the, from your story you're telling right now, and guys are seeing you literally wearing a product, like you're on a platform where people are showing a product even more, people online have been wearing a product. So in some respects, you're going to have to take this title, but you're going to look like a mentor to some of the younger kids watching, because maybe people have had the idea, but they've not executed or had a partner to do so. But I, I'm always curious to know what your mentors are, who your mentors are, apart from your parents, that have now you've looked at and mirrored and that've helped you in the darker days who are your mentors let's say uh, i can start with the mentors okay we don't know them on a personal level mm. but we consume whatever mm. they put out mm. one person being jb jura the mm. owner of home 254 mm-hmm. mm-hmm. yeah his big motivation mm. uh, looks like a video he's also a kenyan designer mm. jimmy truth Mm-hmm. Kenyan designer um, world vision we listen a, we listen to a lot of their content and mm-hmm. we like relate to their content because when they were starting it's the same it's the same story mm-hmm. they actually put up their first their first capital was around 10 dollars on 120 dollars and 12 t-shirts yeah 12 mm-hmm. t-shirts mm-hmm. Uh, we, we uh, first investment capital was around 10000 we started with 10 t-shirts mm-hmm. yeah Mm. so we borrow a lot from so them. actually the the world envision is talking about is uh, a states based brand so we consume a lot of their podcasts mm. so they do podcasts so we, we consume a lot of what mm. they do mm. Mm. so we we borrow a lot of things from them because um from what i've had 
in the podcast is similarly to what mm-hmm. what you experience in yeah, ourselves yeah, yeah, so yeah. they there are our mentors we can call them because mm. I, I, we don't know them in a personal level but mm. they do they do play a big part in what you do mm-hmm. wow mm-hmm. yeah um moving towards <coughs> the content that you've been consuming i want to move towards the content that you've been consuming on a personal level mm. Mm-hmm. Um because we've talked so much about your brand but now it's about like you too. Um what do you do to develop yourself personally? Mm-hmm. And how do you stay on top of the game because your boss is now yeah, you're the sure. you're the heads of the snake. Yeah, true. So how do you stay how do you stay focused? What do you stay sharp? Um and what like what what what's your method in terms of how you live your life right now? So well, first of all you have to wrap to you have to have the the right mindset in each and everything that you do. So the mindset having the right mindset if you want to achieve something it's like manifesting we we say call it to the world and the universe will work it out for you so um it's about the mindset the mind the mindset plays a big part in what we do so for the for like the content i consume me personally and also uh, i do we do share a lot because if i see a video of an entrepreneur a fashion entrepreneur i will send him if i see if i i I have read something an article I will send him. So a lot of podcasts and reading articles are um one of the key factors in developing uh, a positive mindset. And also like I said experience is the best teacher like the youth right now in Kenya. A lot of youth are unemployed. So that also plays uh, you have to go deeper research and to 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 do something that will probably take you from here to here so yeah mm. yeah me I'll start by saying uh, I'm more of a believer yeah and I believe uh, things do happen if you work if you put in the the energy required things do work things do work on uh, content that maybe that moves us uh, yeah as I have explained before we consume content from so many Mm-hmm. so many <clears throat> fashion entrepreneurs designers and that keeps us moving yeah and also there's so much of motivation stories from young people who do big things and that's motivating us for example there is this one guy from St Paul's I'm sure you've heard of a guy who won an award a 100 was it 120 million, million yeah. yeah the guy is making pads the halt prize the halt prize yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this guy we were actually doing innovation with we were in some innovation group with this guy i saw him starting i saw him working it out to where he is today such people motivate us mm-hmm. yeah that also keep, keep, keeps us going listening people, to your podcast yeah people There's like the you are waiting for there finally yeah, yeah. <laughs> check it <laughs> to your people like you and for yeah, sure yeah, yeah. like eli we've we've told you like the moment you've seen our brand working is whatever you guys are doing like for the insta market mm-hmm. the insta market really works out for us mm-hmm. it has kept us motivated we wished that we had an insta market every day mm-hmm. for sure yeah mm-hmm. true yeah mm-hmm. because actually it has played a big part But, in us yeah, we never had an opportunity to like interact with our clients one on one they give us feedback they feel our product but mm-hmm. that's one platform we've mm-hmm. gotten so much feedback mm-hmm. we've gotten so much interaction with our clients mm. that have met mm. your people and like come even when you came into the insta market when you are there on saturday when you just arrived i was like come 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 <laughs> you can remember yeah. i was like oh come come and you're like kiasi 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 to daka moja you see yeah. so uh so we we actually listen to you guys a lot and yeah. Yeah, that's right. where we 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 also knew about the insta market itself yeah. Yeah, like yeah. yeah the story the story as to how we met actually is funny and how what has led you sit on this <laughs> yeah, chair yeah. is funny because they um, for our audience these two entrepreneurs shouted at the top of their lungs <laughs> well uh, come on, we sent you an email i'm like what email <laughs> Ooh, yeah. um and i woke up first thing in the morning i checked the i checked the i checked the emails and then found that you indeed did um but then there was no attachment yeah, true. then you wrote me a proposal that i will not talk about <laughs> <laughs> um and it's it's just like i think your story is one of the stories of one of the things that we want to kind of achieve um as a podcast and one one of the reasons why we started this is to kind of empower young men to be more than a podcast it's not just Thank about sure. conversations it's not just about 
um thinking you know mm. intellectual stimulation it's also yeah. about like at the end of the day we want to empower young Kenyans like you we understand where you come from yeah. we understand that unfortunately due to kind of recent economic times that were outside of the control of a lot of things and another number of factors a lot of the youth are the ones who are the most affected by yeah, these true. things yeah. so the fact that you're doing what you're doing means that we can also empower you mm. to empower others yeah, true. and to also inspire others and you two are so well spoken and I'm I'm mm. I like I've said I'm so proud <coughs> of you too yeah. thank, thank you thank you've you. actually the fact that you're here as a result of being brazen and engaging with customers you made me buy something because I was seeing your products actually solid it's, it's good it's put a fire in my belly um for insta market again and even for the podcast the fact that you guys are here but we've sort of discussed like your motivations and things that have helped you um and just mentioned that now you've helped me what is the ultimate goal mm-hmm. for Agalia what are you guys like pushing for what's the what would make you sit down and say yeah we've we've done what we need to do yeah What do you see Regalia? What's your vision for Regalia? Um, as we view Regalia in the future, we see Regalia as a ho- as a household brand. Mm-hmm. We want each and every household to recognize Regalia. We want you guys to wear Regalia, feel comfortable in Regalia, feel confident in Regalia. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what we want. We want to create employment for young people. Mm-hmm. We want to expand. We want to create opportunities. Not only as gaining from the business but you also want to motivate other people and for sure as young as we are right now we meet other brands out mm. here mm. and they are they are down there and they're seeing us with a big deal right now mm. but mm. us behind our heads we're still struggling yeah, because yeah and we're able we are we are we are able to share something with them like whatever we've been through like mm. what they can do to reach where we are right now mm. that's something we, we 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 are big on and uh yeah we believe in a collaborative youth like we've seen like in the music industry have you noticed like young young guys coming together mm. wakadinali brooklyn they are building it's becoming a whole 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 thing mm. yeah from from that we believe in a collaborative youth and that's i think that's one way we can grow as young people becoming collaborative and working working together mm. Mm. also the big four agenda mm. because yeah. in textile and production and manufacturing we want to put Kenya Africa to be recognized up there because we are not yet recognized as a, as Africa it's um to be precise Africa yeah because we know everybody if you can ask probably somebody it's the Nike's Puma Adidas mm. we have to to bring up something from here Kenya and we are like and so that's that's one of our vision and what that's one of our goals also topping up on that not many people will tell them that you're doing fashion and they're like that's not a serious job what yeah, are you true. doing it's not like a a a, a serious career mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. we want to we want to we want to we want people to know that fashion is a career you can work it you can work it out you can you can work out your life through fashion fashion pays and yeah because like let's say uh, in uni i did something different i'm not a designer mm. i studied communication i studied it and business and we are here doing um things to do with fashion so yeah 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 how did you so okay like you've mentioned going into uni was a completely different um career choice and i'm guessing uh when your parents are sort of guiding you at that t- time in your life they're saying this is the degree you're going to go yeah. down this is the path this this makes sense and we always say that that comes from a place of love because in their capacity they've not seen their peers go into fashion and be successful so i'm always very sympathetic to parents when you know a kid comes they say they want to do this but they don't understand it's not from a place of you know i don't want you to succeed it's like in my capacity and understanding of the world this won't succeed i don't want that for you so how did you communicate to your parents that the course that they've given you has been fantastic it's been great however regalia so how have you been able to say to your parents and how do they take it because there might be kids watching that are like similar to you but how do they, how do they communicate that um because i think it's a skill and a communication that sometimes young people don't have to be able to pitch and convince and then i'll share how i did mine with uh, my parents as well okay i'll say 
till today, I'll tell you that our parents really don't understand what we do. <laughs> For sure. They don't yeah, understand sounds very what familiar, we do. Yep, yeah, 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 yeah. They don't yeah. understand. Yeah. Like these two guys, we took them to school. What are they doing? But mm. for sure, they've been supportive. Mm. They are ever our first customers. When we mm. come up with hoodies, they are ever our first cu- customers, our family. Mm. Um, as much as they don't understand what we do, we've tried to push it hard. Mm-hmm. We've tried to show them that whatever you're doing, whatever we are doing makes sense and mm-hmm. it has value. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. just as you do things and they see you growing from t-shirts to hoodies, mm-hmm. from 10 items mm-hmm. to 50 items, mm-hmm. I'm sure they, they see there is something to this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. there is something to attach to whatever you're doing. Mm-hmm. Also, and like uh, having a sit down with them, because let me tell you something, they usually say the uh an idol mind it's the devil's workshop for sure mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. um with that mentality they they have made us uh, it's like it has probably given us the route or the the route to go and approach them like i'm 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 trying to do something i don't want to be like i don't mm-hmm. want to get mm-hmm. into like crime drugs mm-hmm. or uh, mm-hmm. such kind of things i want to do something that will benefit me that will like right now impact another person's life mm-hmm. that will mm-hmm. feed Probably even my gra- yeah. my great grand grandchild, yeah, you see. Exactly. So, um, doing keeping yourself busy because, mm-hmm. um, my like personally like our parents they usually if you're busy they they understand that you're you're doing something which is positive even if they don't understand. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have another question. Sorry. Mm-hmm. You had, you had a... Yeah, I wanted to um oh, share, share your story. Share yeah, yeah tell us. sorry. I feel m- my main. Uh, reason for asking this is because I know so many people I speak to and they say I'm a creative but my parents I'm a creative but my parents I'm a businessman but my parents and um, I had a similar situation but one of the things I've realized is and what I realized once I got through to them is that um, if I can convince my parents that what I'm doing in my product that I'm trying to invest my time in is worth it then that means I can communicate to my customer so I always say if you can't get past your parents and justify your product to them then how are you going to do it to a stranger right and what i always say with that is okay if the parent like we mentioned a parent talking about education coming from place of love is because they're seeing revenue and a very straight path if it's doctor lawyer there's a straight path that if you do this it's going to end up with this and you're going to get certain amount of revenue Mm -hmm. so i always give tips to like younger people that like if you can do the same thing that can hold up against uh like a doctor degree and say look this first year i'm going to try to do this i'm going to try invest this and then they can see both these plans have similar goals and there's structure to it Normally, the parents like, okay, let me at least digest it and sit down. We had somebody called uh, Zanel who runs uh, Anzana, and she said the same thing. She went to her mum with literally a business plan, and that's the only reason the mum said, let me buy you a camera. So it's that thing of having structure because I think a lot of the time you'll go to your parents with passion but no plan. Okay. And then that's when the parents can be like, this is a kid with passion. Like, there's no structure to what they're going to do. So I like the fact that your parents uh, um, have already sort of said, yes, this yeah, is the sure. to go and going to buy a product. But for people out there, like young guys that, Yes, they created. They have a burning desire. Just have a plan and be able to convince your parent, because then you convince any customer. Yeah, true, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Uh, um, okay, I'm going to ask a question now yeah. around <coughs> being your friend group, because mm-hmm. I know now that you two have something going. There's people who have been in your lives for a long time. Mm-hmm. You know, are watching you do what you do. Uh-huh. How are you managing those new rela- those relationships? The old guys, the ones who remember the troublemaker. <laughs> how do, how are you managing yourselves in where you've grown up? You've grown up in Gashia for the longest amount of mm-hmm. time and you're still doing this from Gashia. Yeah, sure. Um, how are you managing that uh, king of the hood status? How are you handling it? Uh, I'll say at times you just, do, you just have to be <laughs> calm and just digest it. And you have to just let life happen. You have to be very wise when... Uh, interacting with people yeah. after like getting that starting to get that name out there regalia they're saying regalia out there you have to know who is who is who 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 wants who wants like who wants success for me who is real who is real and for sure if you're wise enough you'll know who is real and who is not mm-hmm. yeah you can be able to differentiate that okay and adding on on that so like i would say like our friends also uh, some of our friends have played a big, big role, role too, yeah. because <laughs> also our first customers when we started this particular brand was our parents and our close friends. Mm-hmm. They're the people who have been able to, because it's not only about buying. 
this this particular hoodie or something it's what do you do what can you do for me posting me on your instagram or whatsapp you, hey guys you can it's check a, out their their stuff you 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 you're impacting me in a positive way so our friends have played a big role and also right now actually our friends some of them come come to us and like hey guys what do you guys do by the what do you guys do what can i probably do, do so you. that i can also be like you or probably yeah so actually today we had uh, an event mm-hmm. and one of our friends is is there for for us yeah he's he's selling the items on our behalf as we sit here yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so our friends family they play a big role so um, what he said if somebody is real to you keep them close mm. Mm. girls how are you handling that? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> how are you staying focused, boys? Because they love stealing hoodies. <laughs> Especially that <laughs> hot love, pink. Hmm? Hey, they love stealing hoodies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh-huh. yeah. How are you managing that? Mm. I think you have to differentiate. This, this guy has not been differentiating <laughs> anything. His eye went down. <laughs> <laughs> he, has not been, he has not been differentiating anything. You, you have to differentiate friendship, <laughs> business. Yeah, you have to. You you have to put up those lines. This mm. guy. This guy has been differentiating. Yeah, you, yeah, been you, differentiating. Have, yeah, yeah. you you have to like. Actually, we 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 put up. We we. We put a lot into our business, yeah. money wise. This guy is not employed. I'm not employed. We hustle for that money. So you can Love imagine, mm. you can <laughs> imagine someone picking a hoodie that you've hustled for mm. so <laughs> hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we have to. We, we just have to like put those lines: business, mm. friendship. Yeah. But most of our friends, they're supportive. They buy. They don't steal. Mm. <laughs> I don't think I don't that's think we're talking about the hoodie, but good answer. Yeah, that's a, good, that's a media yeah, trend answer. Yeah, that's what I said. That's, that's a very fantastic answer. answer. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, these young men are media trained. Uh-huh. They are <laughs> running a sustainable business. Uh-huh. They are brilliant. Uh-huh. They are capable, sure. but they still don't have jobs. And yeah. you see, now that's my mm. that's my worry. I feel mm. like that's the sentence I'll say. Mm. Mm. My biggest worry is that we have such bright, brilliant, capable young people. Mm. Um and as a country in many ways, I think that's what we need from the new government. Mm. Yeah, true. Mm. What true. we need from the new government um is seeing someone like um President Ruto stand behind um I think that what are they called Echo? Ecobana. Ecobana, yeah, Ecobana, yeah. these guys and telling them i want you to assist the ministry of education mm. to you know push um sanitary pads and to make, reduce mm. period poverty and episode we talked true. about mm. in 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 mm. kenya even me now i would I'd wish that mm. you know regardless also manage to get something mm. that also help them you mm. know be able to kind of generate value for themselves and others because you guys are really really outstanding mm. i just want you to know that um mm. Ilya and I are in the middle of certain talks mm. certain conversations hopefully mm. we'll see where those conversations go yeah. um you mentioned jobs oh yeah i have a question just a quick one would yeah. you you said cuz i think the reason you said that comments cuz you said me and this guy don't have jobs we're hustling for this yeah would you want a job if it was an option or would you think it would take away from regalia Oh, I think right now we are so deep into this, we can't give it up. We have to fight for this. Have to fight for How it. are you seeing your other friends that aren't businessmen in the job market? How's that going for them? Because they don't have regalia. Okay, like personally for me, um, I can feel them because uh, even when we, because regalia, we started regalia last year and was I got a job uh, actually in a call center. Yeah, that's good. So, mm-hmm. so um, in that particular call center, we'll not mention it. A lot of people employ their youths. Mm. Mm. So, um beco- so once you're paid, mm. you're like you're trying to manage each and everything and you're like, wow, no. Mm. No. Mm. No, it's not working up. It's mm. it's not mm. and considering that you're working for uh, um a lot of hours and it's mm. not mm. it's mm. not it's not adding up. Yeah. It's not yeah. adding up. So the youth have to take the economy in their own hands yeah, yeah. Sure. we have to be creative we have to try and, and do something uh-huh. because uh this particular uh like the situation the country is in right now there's a lot of un- unemployment mm. yeah. people don't have jobs yeah and it's not it's the youths 
who don't have jobs. Yeah. Yeah, even apart from the jobs and everything, most of these youths, if you ask them, we ask our friends, but you'll find out that most of them don't enjoy whatever they're doing. Yeah, true. Mm. 90s. No. <laughs> yeah. They don't enjoy, they just go to work because they should go to work. Personally, I never enjoyed. <laughs> Person- let them know. <laughs> Personally, I never enjoyed. I never enjoyed. I, I, I never enjoyed. <laughs> but with regalia, no matter the struggle, Mm-hmm. Tomorrow we're still mm-hmm. motivated. There's a there's a mm-hmm. there's there's a test for mm-hmm. there's a test to see whether you're really motivated. Yeah. Yeah. So the first question I'll ask you is, and I want to see if how you pass this test. I'll try my best to implement it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um it's off of um a guest we had. Um it's four points. Eli, please mm-hmm. help me remember. Mm-hmm. First one is are you the best in the world at what you do? And do you do it with ease? Is it, do you think you do that with regalia? Is it easy? Uh, uh personally like starting starting regalia was a bit challenging but right now i can tell you i do it with a lot of ease <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the boy the boy, the boy. Uh-huh. Uh, second question um um would you do what you do right now for absolutely free for free for free like no one gives you any money mm. but you do it for absolutely free for for free Mm. Yeah, for sure. It's been for for the for for some time that we've done for the larger part we've done this job. We never gained anything. Mm-hmm. We never got anything back. We still pushed harder. So mm. that's mm-hmm. it. Okay. Okay. Have people told you that? Have people told yeah. you that you're the best yeah. at what you do? Yes, well, for, for sure. A lot of them. The, 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 a good example. Mm. You guys came to our stand last time. Did you watch everyone around? Mm, Kina mm. Joji, everyone mm. big names. Hey, yeah. that, that motivated us wow. big time. Mm, yeah. mm, <laughs> mm, I never mm. saw that. I was like, wow. We never foresaw mm. that by the way mm. coming. And then the so. fourth one. Do you do you re- in on Monday mornings mm. do you jump out of bed to do this? <laughs> I love doing this by the personal. Mm. I mm. love doing it. Because it, uh in the experience or, or with what I had when I was employed, because I call the shots. Hmm. This guy, Bows. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think now uh, we are confident enough to move to the last question. <laughs> If you're not buying regalia right now, I don't know what <laughs> you're doing. Wagwan. 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 I don't know what you're doing. Yeah. So the last question, guys. Um, um, I've complimented you a lot during the episode. Yeah, so sure. I'm sure I don't need to do that again. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Um, what is one piece of content that you consume? A book, a film, a movie, a video, something that motivates you, something that gets you there, something that gets you going. That you wanna share with the rest of the world. Look into your camera. And give. <laughs> oh, you can go. Oh, me, I'll say it's so basic, but the Bible, mm. for sure. Um, uh, I'm high on being spiritual. That keeps me going, even when I don't know how things will happen. Mm. I believe in God does miracles. Sometimes we have no idea how we'll do things. I don't I don't know how we'll start like producing already. We didn't have any idea of how we'll articulate like producing already made items. Mm. But it came true. <coughs> like we had no idea. We had no money. Mm. We had no capital. We didn't have enough money. Mm. We didn't have a designer in our mind. We, did, we didn't mm. have money to pay a designer. Mm. But yeah, just had that belief. If I put in the work, mm. Yeah. God plays his part. Mm. Is there a favorite verse that keeps you going? Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What is it? Uh, in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Let me think of one. Mm. As he's thinking, mm. give us your piece of content. So me, actually, I'm also spiritual. And probably that's uh, that's one thing that made us click as friends. Mm-hmm. That it also played a part in it so um also like world and vision i actually listen to a lot of their podcasts i mm-hmm. listen to a lot of podcasts actually even you guys i listen to a lot of positive podcasts not like kiss or dare <laughs> <Listen to> things <laughs> that can 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 benefit me not like mm-hmm. listening to kiss or dare and watching like okay it's it's content yes but you we have to i personally i have to like consume positive content actually like i can say one of uh this uh this series american all americans mm. because this uh this the the character uh forgot <laughs> forgot mm. the name of the character mm. he, he pushes a lot each and every time even if there's a um obstacle over here he pushes 
pushes and pushes yeah. listening to podcasts and also watching positive uh content and yeah. also movies that can benefit you know no, i'm scenes. taking i'm seeing the nike signs i'm seeing the logo i'm seeing the heart so i'm seeing mm. Mm. Yeah. this guy i'm seeing i'm seeing you eat, you're consuming the right content for sure yeah I mean, Now, have you finished thinking about verse. your bible verse yeah jeremiah 10 the verse that they say that god has created you in a special way and he mm. thinks about you he mm. he cares about you yeah that because god cares about us he cares about what we do and we have to leave everything else to him because he knows and he cares yeah, man, maybe we'll get the jeremiah 10 <laughs> collection with a label yeah mm. amazing guys you are literally the perfect example of stand up young men that have got a very very bright future and i don't like when people knock the youth because they're people like you within that demographic so on our part whatever we can do to help Uh, we'll have chats after this as well we would love to we are so proud of what you're doing and we hope that somebody your age somebody younger or even older has seen that it can be done regardless of the economy if you have the right people you have the right mindset like the sky is the limit i think there's no limit for you guys so thank you for coming sharing your story uh, i'm inspired you made me want to do more insta markets next month you made me want to I'm not going to say what we're going to do with these hoodies but yeah you really inspired us. Appreciate, yeah, appreciate. Yeah. If you can actually probably be doing it like it and every weekend we can uh, yeah. we'll we appreciate have, them more. We have a marketing schedule guys we can't yeah. just <laughs> But yeah I know for sure so mm. thank you thank you for coming guys. Thank, thank you we appreciate. Uh, I mean mess matwa santi vijana many many janga msuna joku japa mimi nimebambika. Msishtuke msishtuke kizungu imetoka. Aya laleni vyema have a very good night. Um thanks so much for watching matuk.ke. Um I enjoyed mm-hmm. recording this podcast mm-hmm. half as much mm-hmm. as, as I enjoyed did. making it. <laughs> yeah. And we had a ball because we had a ball. <laughs> See you next Quite week guys. Shodana, <laughs> in a, a bizzle. <laughs>